Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. Recently I came across a YouTube video from a fellow Dutch guy who claimed to have created a free energy generator. He did it by winding this copper wire about eight times around the marker and attaching some cro crocodile clips at the ends. And then there is another winding at the top with a smaller di diameter and a powerful neodymium magnet at the back. Now in this video I will be building that exact same device and see if it works or not. Now I'm pretty sure that free energy generators do not exist and this thing won't do anything. But I also think I have found a way to make it work. So here we go. I've salvaged three neodymium magnets from two hard disks and this one is the pow most powerful one. This is the thick one. These are so a little bit smaller. So there we go. Now it's very hard to separate them but I don't need them for this video so I'll put them aside. Um, yeah, and I'm going to wind this eight times around this marker. Let's see. Let's in the meanwhile insert my hot glue gun into one of the outlets. There we go. And then wind this around. So I need to go off camera probably. But so how many, how many windings are we? Three, six, seven, eight. Right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah. And let's see, this will probably do. So let's cut off the excess. And then first, like this. Make it look pretty. There. Not bad. No. All right. Let's get my helping hand because these things will get hot. Uh, <laughs> that scared me a little bit. This new Dimia magnet was attaching to my helping hand. So there we go. Solder iron and some solder on there. First make it hot. This will probably be a little bit boring, but We'll see. There we go. Now, same. Same in there. There we go. Now, can I hold this? long enough for probably not but let's, let's give it a go anyway there we go that's one solar tip because that was looking very nasty there we go tipping over my hot air gun again not hot air hot glue gun Now 
I'm actually a little bit amazed that I was able to hold it. And it was not getting too hot. So, well, this ring is quite hot. This, yeah, coil right now. All right. So, this is one part. There goes the new dimmy magnet again where it is. Oh, here it is. This needs to go at the back with some hot glue. That's why I turn it on. Why not do that right now? Not, not right now because I need to solder some pigtail on there. All right. So let's get a bit of this stuff. Strip some more. that be enough? Let's cut some more. This will be enough. All right, get this out of the way. And let's see, will this do? Probably will. a little bit so it looks looks nice it's bullshit anyway but why not make it look nice now I need it to go over here I believe doesn't really matter because it won't work anyway but if we're gonna do it do it good right the other side to take solder as well. It will be very handy later on. Now this one over there. It's already in a great angle so making a mess here. Yeah, that looks okay. No, my hot, air, uh, hot glue gun is making a mess on my desk. So let's use it. And this one needs to go on there, like this. So, a few of this stuff in there. Oh, that actually is pretty hot. Oh. Cool down. Turn off the hot air. Oh, why I'm saying hot air all the, all the time? Because, yeah. Hot glue gun. Off you go. Sticky stuff. Right. So yeah. That looks pretty good. So now I'm able to get some light out of it, right? Let's let's first measure it. Put it in the two volt setting because I saw six volts coming out of this. 
and that's uh, not, a, not a coincidence that that is probably exactly two of these. So get one of these and there, and the other one on there. Absolutely nothing. It's in, let's double check. It's in the voltage setting, it's in the COM setting, two volts. Let's put it on millivolts then. Okay, maybe the polarities is not correct. Did, oh, I see some numbers. But that's probably from my fingers and not from this device. So yeah, it's absolutely fake and I can take it outside of course and it still won't work because what would this thing, where would the energy come from? From the magnet? From, from Earth's radiation? Radio signals? It's bullshit. This doesn't not work. But I'm going to make it work. Probably need some hot glue again. So I don't know why I turned that off but... Let's see. Now, and to show you that the meter is still working, it is not a fake meter or that I'm faking something. No, oh, it's in the millivolt setting, of course. Now, this is 3 volts, so it needs this setting 3.17 volts. So, this battery is good, the meter is good. So let's one do some final measure in this same exact same setting. Nothing. So now I need to remove this magnet from the back side. There we go. Get the hot glue off. That's set easier than done. Well, I can actually leave it on there, but as always, I want to make it pretty. So, there we go. New dimmy magnet removed. Now, I'm going to cut it at the point of the soldering. There we go. Now, now I have two halves. That's convenient. No, sorry for the sudden jump in the video, but that is because I had to make some modifications to this coil. I was doing it in one take and uh, I messed up. Great and big deal because it was failing all over. First of all, I wanted these batteries to have them sitting on the side of this new dimmium magnet. <laughs> on there. You can see what I, what I mean. They wouldn't want to be there. And I could solve that by putting on some glue, but I was making a mess. So what I did, they're happily to they do, they, to sit on the side of the neodymium magnets and the other side of course too. So that's what I did. And that's because I don't want to waste too much time on a thing that does not work. I just want to show you the principle of how I think this trick is done, because it is a trick. Now, this is how it how I did it. There are two batteries, you can see them. There's one, there's the other one, and like I said, I just want them, wanted them a little bit close to the center so I could cover them all up in hot glue, so you wouldn't see them. And that's why in the video you see of, of this, this thing, you, you can see a thick layer of hot glue in there. Um, and there's a cap between the two coils. You, I can also close the cap a little bit by moving the coils a little bit closer to each other. but. For this case, I want the cap to be large, so you could see it. Now, this would mean that the power is going 
through the batteries, through the neodymium magnet, and to that other crocodile clip again. That would mean, mean that we pr probably have around 3 volts right now. Put it in the 20 volt setting, and let's see. There we go, 2.84 volts of free energy. Now, that would also mean I could probably stick this LED in there. There we go. Free energy. There we go. As you can see, it works fine. Now, if I hold it like this, you can actually, you don't see the magnets, you don't probably hardly see the gap. And this is how this video works. And of course, if I put I will probably some larger button cells in there, I could have a total of 6 volts and run a little motor of that, but I just want to prove that it is impossible, that this thing does not work only with a couple of hidden batteries. So that's how I did it. Also um, I wanted to show you this, there's some uh, heat, heat sink compound still left on my finger because I was trying if that stuff, this stuff, uh, let's see if I can get any focus, probably not. No. Probably need my hand like this. No. Heat sink compound, there we go. I was measuring if this stuff was uh, conducting ele electricity because that would mean that I could stick a few drops of this on there and hide, hide the batteries a little better, but that did not work. I also tried soldering it. I left my solder tip for a very short time on, on the cap, but it wasn't taking on solder very well. So I touched it a little bit longer and there it went bang in my face. So these batteries don't take heat very well. So it's ju so just sitting loose between there and I've actually soldered a little bit on the, on the coil so that it makes a little bit easier contact. But this is how I think the trick is done. I'm going to throw this away because it is ugly and it does not work. So free energy generators, they do not exist. It is just a simple trick. It's just a matter of see, finding out how the trick is done. So thanks for watching.